Hi, my name is Haley and I am owner of Arrowhead Bulldogs and today I'm going to talk to you about tube feeding a puppy. So first of all, I just want to say that I am not a vet and if you have the opportunity to talk to your vet, I suggest you do that first. Um, I wasn't, I didn't have that option when I needed to tube feed a puppy and I had to scour the internet and it was really difficult so I thought I would just make you a quick video and show you um, how I personally do it. Um, first, you want to ask yourself, why do you need to tube feed a puppy? Um, generally, there, I mean, there's a lot of reasons, but generally the main reasons are because it has a cleft palate and it can't nurse um, because it'll come back out of its nose. Or they're just really, really weak and they just aren't able to latch on and get enough nutrients to keep their body going. Or maybe they do have a great latch, but they're not sucking hard enough to be able to get the milk into their body. The video that you're going to see um, here in just a few minutes is a puppy that was very healthy and had a great latch, but he didn't suck enough of the new, of the colostrum or the milk out, so he wasn't gaining weight. He was actually losing weight, um, and that is a big red flag when it comes to English Bulldog puppies specifically, which is my area of specialties. So. I suggest that you um, make sure you're weighing your puppy and monitor those things before you decide to tube feed. So think about that. Some supplies that you're going to need to tube feed is going to be formula. I choose to purchase formula. You can make your own. That's a whole other video on, its, on itself. Um, so formula, bottles or jars. Bottles are great because you can easily measure. I tend to keep jars because then they're easier to pop in the microwave. I also will suggest adding a little bit of liver water into my formula just to give a little bit of nutrients, um, a little extra nutrients. You don't have to put a lot and I honestly, I judge it by per puppy and what's going on with the puppy as to how much liver water that I add. So you're gonna have formula, you're gonna have bottles or jars, you're gonna have, you can get a tube feeding kit or the what you'll see in the video is actually a catheter kit from my vet's office that I have trimmed to fit my syringes. So syringes are also going to be on your list of supplies that you're going to need. The typical rule of thumb is one cc or one ml per ounce of puppy. I tend to do a little bit less because I don't want to overfill my puppy. I want to be able to give them enough nutrients that will keep them thriving and growing and be able to possibly nurse the next time. So I don't overfill my puppy. Um, if he is maybe 10 ounces, I might only give nine or maybe seven cc's or six cc's of fluid or formula to get him through where I need him to be. You're also going to, I also suggest that you have baby wipes on hand. You'll see that I immediately potty the puppy after he is done eating as well as burping him. And then I also have a heating pad because you want to keep the puppy warm. If puppies are, if they drop below 96 degrees Fahrenheit, their own personal body temperature, they cannot process the food. So you might be heating the food, you might be feeding the puppy, but if the puppy's temperature is not proper, it's pointless. They won't be able to digest their food and you're just wasting everybody's time and endangering the puppy. So make sure the, the food is proper temperature and the puppy is the proper temperature. So I have a heating pad with a blanket that you'll see me put the puppy on and use that to keep him warm while I am tube feeding him. Um, I also suggest a scale because scales help you keep a record, right? If they're healthy, they're going to gain weight. If they're not healthy, they're going to start losing weight. So we're going to go ahead and show you the video. It's not super long. Um, and then we'll come back and answer any questions if we need to, but feel free to drop them below. So I'm testing the temperature. I've already pre-measured the amount of formula that I'm feeding him. I've already weighed him, so I know exactly how much that I need to give him, but I wanna make sure that it's the proper temperature. I am setting up the blanket on the heating pad to keep him warm. You don't ever wanna put a puppy directly on the heating pad. You don't wanna burn them. So this way, there's a nice little barrier between them while they stay warm. You'll see all my supplies right there that have already been sterilized. Now I'm attaching the syringe to the tube feeding tube. You'll notice there's a little mark on the tube as well, which will come in handy. So now I'm sucking up the food into the tube. You will get some air in there, so you wanna make sure you don't get that air into their bellies. So the little mark is my pre-measure mark. You wanna start from the mouth and go down to the last rib. That is a general rule of thumb of how far the tube should technically go. 
then as you're you want to gently hold their head and as you are wiggling the tube in from the front only not the side you want to gently wiggle um, just to help encourage them to swallow you never want to force it if you force it you might end up in their trachea or you might hurt their esophagus so he has a little bit of a gag reflex but then he starts swallowing you can see him actively swallowing the tube I'll go down to roughly the, my mark that I have there. You'll know that you have hit the stomach. It's just a gentle um, stop, a gentle stopper there. You don't want to force it to go beyond what it needs to. Then you just gently press the food down into the tube, just slow, steady. You'll see him swallowing the food. You don't want to go too fast. Just keep it nice and steady. Gently hold their head so that the tube doesn't come out of their mouth. And then you don't want to risk it going into their lungs. So just nice and steady and hold them. And then pull the tube out. You want to go ahead and dry them off. Make sure that they stay warm. Um, that's kind of how I burp them is just start rubbing them, keeping them moving. You want to work out any air bubbles. I also have wipes nearby because as soon as they eat, they're going to need to go potty. And of course, at that age, they cannot potty on their own. So the action of pottying them also helps to kind of stimulate them to not only go potty, but also to burp. Um, you really don't want to leave any of those air bubbles in their stomach if you can help it. So there he is, all clean, happy, fed, cutie patootie, and easy peasy. I really hope that was helpful. If there was anything that I missed or questions below, please don't hesitate to ask. And we do try to answer questions pretty quickly because especially with newborn puppies when you're having so many things can go wrong. We do try to respond as quickly as we can. So please leave those questions below and we'll try our best. Uh, we also have a bunch of other videos that I hope are helpful. So check those out too. Um, my goal is really just to help you guys be able to enjoy your breeding journey and hopefully not have to stress as much as I did trying to find all the answers all over the place. So we're trying to build this collection. If you have any other suggestions of things that would be helpful, please don't hesitate to let us know because we're always trying to do better. If you don't know better, you can't do better. And if I don't know, then I can't make it. So hopefully that was helpful and we'll talk to you guys later.